Uh, hi. So I'll be speaking about Hydem PD. Uh, OK. So solving PDs uh, using numerical methods do not scale that well in higher dimensions because the curse of dimensionality. What curse of dimensionality is basically that computational cost and uh, memory cost increases exponentially as we you know, uh, try to solve PDs in higher dimensions. Now, hydempd.jl is a Julia package that implements various uh, deep learning based algorithms to solve a specific set of PDs. What these specific set are, uh, I'll get to it uh, in the next slide. Uh, but yeah, uh, in higher dimensions using deep learning, we'll see how that scales. Uh, there are some existing methods uh, like MLP and deep splitting that also deal with partial integral differential equations. There's already a talk about it. I suggest you watch it. So what's new? Uh, so I'll be demonstrating three algorithms, uh, NN stopping, NN Kolmogorov, and NN param Kolmogorov. And then, the, then I show a unified API of uh, how to interact with HeightMPD.jl. OK, so these are the two kinds of PDs that uh, HeightMPD uh, solvers aim to solve. Uh, the difference between the two is the first term. Uh, as you can see in uh, PIDs, the first term is in integrated over x. And uh, in the parabolic PD problem, the second, uh, the first term is just a nonlinear function. Yeah. And this is the algorithm support and API. Almost uh, all, so uh, not almost, all solvers uh, in Hydeam PD solve uh, parabolic PD problems, uh, but only deep splitting and MLP are for a PIDE problem. Uh, the API is pretty much the same. Uh, there are some keyword arguments that you uh, have to provide uh, when you are when you are using a specific solver for the solvers that I am demonstrating, I'll show them. Uh, yeah. Okay. So for the next three solvers, uh, it's again a very specific case where the nonlinear. Okay. So uh, the next three solvers, uh, and then stopping, and then Kolmogorov, and then Param Kolmogorov, uh, the nonlinear term is going to be zero. So uh, this is what the form uh, this is what the basic form of pds would look like okay so and in stopping uh, this is for optimal stopping problems uh, you can <coughs> it applies to pds of this form uh, they can uh, they're usually called as obstacle pds you usually find these problems uh, when you try to exercise american or bermudan uh, style options where you have an option to exercise early and here, high number of underlying assets give rise to high dimensional optimal uh, stopping problems, which are uh, difficult to solve uh, due to curse of dimensionality that we discussed. So the goal here is to find the optimal stopping time and the optimal payoff, uh, which is given right here. Yeah. OK, so this is uh, what the API looks like. You define your uh, constants. Then you define your uh, drift volatility. And then you define the models, uh, the optimizer, and the algorithm. And then you hit solve, like you would do for any other SIML problem. So here are some results. Uh, the first plot is uh, analytical payoff versus uh, the pre uh, predicted payoff uh, by the model. And as you can see, we scale up to 500 dimensions uh, for this case. Uh, the training is done on CPU for now, because it does some scalar indexing, but we are working on uh, getting a GPU version of it. I'm sure it would be great. Yeah. So the next one is uh, NN Kolmogorov. Uh, here we deal with Kolmogorov PDs of the form, yep, where, uh, we, uh, by the way, it's, bo uh, it's for both forward and backward Kolmogorov equations. Uh, this one is a fo uh, forward one where we have an initial condition and we aim to solve the for the terminal condition. Uh, and this terminal uh, and this solution is distributed all over x, so you get a distribution at the end of it. Okay, and this is the API. I'm skipping over the API parts uh, to save some time. Yep. Uh, the first plot is uh, when we solve uh, the heat equation in two dimensions. Uh, this is the error landscape. As you can see uh, on the edges, it's pretty bad. Uh, so yeah. And the training time, uh, NN Kolmogorov, by the way, is supported, uh, has the GPU support. So that's training time versus uh, dimensions as we scale. OK, now the most interesting, and then Param Kolmogorov, uh, we try to solve uh, families of, uh, parametric families of Kolmogorov PDs here. So uh, now we get a solution over all parameters 
time and x. Uh, some example of Kolmogorov PDs uh, include heat equation, like we saw in the previous slide, and Black-Scholes PDE. Now, uh, we're going, going to look at some downstream cases after this. So this is an example of a basket put option. So uh, there are a few nuances here. So because we find uh, the solution over all parameters, now we have to provide a parameter domain as well. So we find a solution over all, all, all of the domain of the parameters, like here. And yeah, so you define your net, and yeah, the rest is the same. Yeah, so uh, one of the downstream use case of NN Param Param Kolmogorov is because you find a solution over all domain of a parameter, you can easily do parameter estimation on real world data. Uh, so for demonstration purposes here, I had simulated uh, using Monte Carlo simulations, uh, and this is for three dimensions, and I do a, a basic for loop to fit fit some parameter estimation loss. Okay, and then we can also do sensitivity analysis with NN Param Kolmogorov. So the problem that I was discussing was basket put option. So usually in finance, uh, the Greeks are of interest. Uh, uh, these are delta, vega, or theta. So we are specifically talking about vega here, which is your price by, uh, which is how your price uh, varies with sigma. And yeah, here are some results. The first one is, uh, a, a GIF uh, uh, to show how we fit on the parameter estimation with the data. And the second one is uh, predicted Vega versus Monte Carlo uh, Vega. Yeah. Uh, questions? Wait. Uh, so there's some future work. Like I said, we need GPU support for NN stopping. Uh, we can also support MTK. And sensitivity analysis is uh, not very robust at the moment. Uh, you need to train with uh, with some nuances. So we we are going to make it robust. So yeah, that's all. Thank you. Thank you. We are happy to take your questions. In the back. Hi. Thank you for the talk. It's not. Directly my field of expertise, so if the question Me is neither. not so. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, for I understand that high-dimensional PDs is like really high dimension, but what about like dimension 6 or 12? Oh, like it can scale to that. Yeah, if it is of that form, uh, it does work. So in our tests, uh, usually the dimensions are 6 or 10. So, yeah. Ah, okay. So, you know, do you know the applications like in plasma physics where one has like um, master equations or Fokker-Planck equations? Fokker Planck, uh, I, uh, I I don't know, uh, but I know about the Fokker Planck equation. I have tried uh, and then Kolmogorov on that previously, and it works. Yeah. Ah, okay, great. Yeah. Thanks. It's a, I guess it's a forward Kolmogorov equation, right? If it. Uh, I think so, but okay. yeah. I mean, it comes from an SDE, but that's all I know. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's thank the speaker again. Thank you.